teaching New Covenant Ministry. We'd like to uh, just welcome you here. We are a born-again um, Christian ministry, New Covenant, uh, and much, much more to come. Um, we are uh, speaking today about manna, uh, manna from heaven. You know, the, uh, Israel, first of all, the Old Covenant was between God and uh, the nation and people of Israel. And uh, God rained down manna. Um, um, it was described as uh, fantastic uh, by some of the Israelites. It was uh, delicious. And it was physical. It was physical bread. And uh, of course Moses called it manna. And uh, it was uh, a gift from God um, that he sent down this manna. And there was enough for them each day to satisfy them. And now Moses would say, as long as you trust the Lord, he will meet your needs every single day. And so, of course, we want to see Jesus there. And uh, remember, in the Old Covenant, Jesus is always on the outside of man. So in this text, he's going to be symbolic. He's going to be um, the manna that comes down from heaven in the physical form. And so, of course, Jesus is there. But I remember, he's in the backdrop. And so, but under this new covenant, this manna lives in us. And that's what we're going to talk about, that God is not dead. He is alive and he's living in and through us, available believers in him. And so that's what we're going to talk about. I'm going to go to John 6.33. And it says this, Jesus said, For the bread of God is he... Um, who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. And so we have to remember that in Christ is life. And so that's where we get manna. That's where that, that bread is. And uh, we uh, really it's really important for us to know what that spiritual food is that we eat um, now, today, daily. And that bread is enough um, for today. And it's, it's gathered daily. You know, we don't have to ask for bread, but we have to always remember that the bread of life lives in us. And He's never going to leave us nor forsake us. So, in the morning when we get up, we just acknowledge that He is there and express our need for Him. And, uh, you know, thank Him that uh, He has provided us with this manna from heaven in His very life. And that life is now ours in Christ. And so... As he is, so are we in this world. So we appropriate this in our uh, our born again Christian experience. Um, I'm going to go down uh, to uh, verse 35. This is John 6:35, and Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life, and he that comes to me shall never hunger, and he that believes in me shall never thirst. And so, first of all, we have to remember that uh, when uh, we hear Jesus say, "Come to me." Um, are you in Christ? Okay, we are in Christ. That's what it means. And so, come to me is just something that's already happened. And when the Holy Spirit grafted us in Christ, and so we are the branches, He is the vine, the vine life now lives in us. As we trust in that life and as our very source, what we're going to see is the character of Him um, on the branch. And we are the branches. And so this has been uh, Grace Teaching from uh, Quality of Life. Um, we, uh, we trust in the Holy Spirit to uh, renew our minds today so we can be transformed. And remember, you're the most important person here because without you, we could not teach. And remember, we always witness Christ and use words uh, only when must. Um, so remember, God is not dead. We learn so we can teach. And we teach so we can learn. Thank you, and God bless.